So in order to implement these, this 5% raise, what happens next? Uh, because it actually, the budget for fiscal year 2015 hasn't been settled yet, I believe it just goes into the budget. Okay. No, no special session will be required? Absolutely not. No. In fact, the money's actually been appropriated by the legislature. That was signed by the governor. That's the law of the land, and our highest court has just affirmed that. Here today, the court has created a brand new standard that's never been used before in order to give themselves a 5% pay raise. What the court did is to say that it would uphold the governor's veto. So the governor's veto is valid, but they then took that additional step of reading words into the statute that are not there. Okay, the, the, the bottom line is judges get a 5% raise, and a judge on the Supreme Court, a city member of the Supreme Court, may, was a member of the uh, a party of that decision. In, in, in some ways, you could argue that he voted himself a raise. Well, you can also say that there were four people that had absolutely no dog in this fight, and it was a unanimous decision. And I think the court did the right thing. The bottom line is, there are three co-equal branches of government, and it's the court's job to decide whether a line item veto is appropriately exercised and basically be the arbiter between the legislature and the governor. That's the only, that's the system we have, and it worked today. It's concerning. It's the very reason that four of the five justices stepped down from this case, because they recognized that they were going to be voting on giving themselves a pay raise, which is which is always a problem for judges. Judges, are they always recuse from cases that involve their own financial interests, which is what four of the five did. Um, and Justice, Justice Boston, you're right, stayed on, and today issued a ruling that gives himself a 5% pay raise.